Data versus security is powerful. It's also complicated. Have you ever wished you could get a 360 degree view on a user's data versus security role? Have you wanted to know who has admin privileges in the environment? Or have you ever screamed, Microsoft, just show me the teams and their security roles in one place? If you've screamed that with me, my fellow PowerCat Ravi gives us a deep dive into an app that you're gonna to wanna to use today on PowerCat Live. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Toppers from the PowerCat team, and today I'm here with fellow PowerCat, Ravi Chada. Hey, Ravi. Hey, everyone. So we're going to talk about data versus security, which is something we can spend a lot of time talking about because it's complicated. But first, talk a little bit about your journey onto the team. Yeah. Uh, so name is Ravi Chada. I joined PowerCat team last year, June. Um, I, came out, I come out of a consulting world. I have been a solution architect for past 10 years in the Dataverse space and have been using Dataverse since its 3.0 version. Uh, so it's like some years back. So Dataverse for a long time. So since the CRM 3.0, so you've been through a few name changes too, right? You, yeah, you seem to definitely call it Dataverse. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was. Uh, I got adapted to the name changes. There have been quite a name, few name changes. And and through all of that, all that time too, the data for security model has been evolving, and it's it's complicated and powerful. Uh, so talk a little bit about what you've built to make it easier to manage. Uh, so the concept is we have been coining this term about citizen developers, but the new term that I want to coin is called as citizen admins. Now, oh, when the Power Platform began, we always thought that, okay, the citizen developers are going to go and then the IT team is going to manage it pretty straightforward, right? Uh, but then when they use Dataverse, then we introduce all these concepts of uh, security roles, team management, field security roles. It's not straightforward for citizen admins. So this is where we bring this concept to. Uh, my app is to consolidate that and then see if we can make it a little bit easier for the IT admins. Uh, can you show us what you built? Yep, sure. Let me go ahead and jump into the demo. Um, so this is a simple Canvas app that I have built. And uh, the Canvas app can be imported into any environment. And once you import, you should see something like this, Dataverse Environment Security Management. And when you click on it, it will launch the app. The first thing is that this app is typically meant for people with system administrator role only. The reason being that the app is intended for assigning and managing security roles. So you don't want to run into errors just because you don't have permissions. So you need to have a system administrator role or something that is equivalent to that. The second part uh, is to make sure that in whichever instance you have imported this app, you see, make sure that the app, the instance you are on and everything's correct. If this is not correct, go ahead and turn this off. Now, I'll tell you the reason as to why we are going to do that as we go into the next set of the screens. The, I'll just go into the first screen, user security management. So let me go select a particular role, customer security, customer service app access role. As soon as I select that role, it shows me that there's five users that are assigned to this. Now, let's say I want to, I want to assign an, in this role to Alan. So I can go look for Alan. And then I can say assign the role to the user. So now I should see the six users. And of course, it, it does put them in the sorting order. And if there is more users, you can always use the search functionality to kind of go for specific user record as well. So you can also assign security roles to teams. So I can see I can do that there on the right hand side as well. You're correct. So if you can, for the same role, if I want to now assign this to a team, I can go ahead, select, I can select the team, and then I can simply say, assign the team to the role. Now know that it, it takes a little bit of second to kind of show, but um, it basically shows up on the screen here. The same concept, if I want to now just check what permissions actually does this have. So I can go click on this icon, which will then launch for me the security role uh, URL directly to it, in which I could go look at what permissions are there assigned to that specific role. Uh, as you can see, the role loads, and then you can now go look at what permissions specifically are given uh, in, in this particular role. Now, coming back, you can also add a new security role. By clicking on this button, you will be able to add a new security role to that same environment. Let's go back to the main page now. And 
I'm using the same layout and concept now to go show the team deleted information. So this shows the list of all the teams that are available and then who is going to be the who are the team members for it and what security roles does it have. And I can always manage uh, the addition and then removal of the users from these teams. I like how you link everything back to the source though as well in Dataverse. Yes, uh, that, that's the whole idea to not to make a uh, duplication of data, but kind of refer to the same data source principally and just use the Canvas app's ability to paint a presentation layer that makes it easy on the eye. And I'm building muscle memory on this one right now. So, I'm, but hopefully this is a much better experience, a little better experience than what folks have today. Um, it's definitely a lot easier than going to many different screens to get a little slice of the picture. Yeah. And of course, uh, the same pattern kind of flows through the rest of the screens as well. Uh, this is for the field security profiles as to what permissions are. But the difference being in the field security profile is that it actually shows what fields are there and uh, for each of the CRUDs, create, read, update, uh, what permissions does it have, right? So it kind of shows that. Uh, and then of course it shows for a selected role, who all are the users uh, that have been assigned uh, uh, to that particular role and then it can manage that. One other uh, thing is if anyone clicks on any of the user's name in any uh, in the screens, uh, it'll bring to this user profile. So now you basically get to see a single user profile with everything. This is what we what we call probably the 360 view from a security perspective. What security roles do they have? What team memberships do they have? What field security profiles do they have? Uh, get a full picture of it on this one. And then you can literally like say that, okay, something is not right, then they can click on this and then remove it. The couple of other perspectives, just to complete the demo side is that uh, we have the business units, which will tell you if there is multiple business units that are there. And then when you have multiple business units, like right now I have 104 security roles associated here, but it is possible that in a lower business unit, I might, I have to have 104, but I might, I can have more than 104. So it means that I have created the security role specifically in that business unit, only to in that business unit. And then the teams associated obviously uh, will show up in this one as well. One last screen uh, is the search with user profile. Now this probably is one screen which uh, the administrators will uh, like it a little bit better because they can go search on the person's name and once they select it, they can literally see everything. This is again, similar to the user profile screen, but it's kind of a listed view and they can search for the user. They can search for the specific user um, or, and then they can check as to what profiles and what security roles they have. And it's fast too. So what do you have planned? What's coming next to this app? Certainly you're not done. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, we are certainly uh, going to make next level of changes is that uh, from a security perspective, everyone, the first thing that comes to any enterprise or even mid-level, everyone is that, okay, the security permissions, what permissions are my users trying to give? What are my citizen developers trying to, what is the risk? So for that purpose, what I'm working right now is uh, with my team in the PowerCat is that uh, I'm working on an algorithm to identify uh, what is the security score for a security role. So for example, if someone gives a delete privilege at an org level, that's a very high risk. So that, that's kind of like you're telling them just delete anything you want in the system. So that's a big no-no. So that's basically the next steps is uh, trying to get that uh, algorithm working and then try to show like a security role score, which elevate, which shows what is the risk, that potential risk there. That's really interesting. And so uh, you've made this pretty lightweight. So if I want to deploy this, if I'm a citizen administrator, you heard it here, what do I need to do? Um, you can just go, uh, go to akms.powercat slash DV security app, and then you should be able to download the security app. There's all the instructions and then uh, all the screens have screenshots and viable things that are coming up. Um, we are getting some feedback. If there's any issues that are found, it's a GitHub open source. People can modify the app as well on their own, but uh, depending on the feedback that's coming, we'll make new releases to this one. Robbie, this app is amazing, and it's so useful even for people that have been using Dataverse for a long time because it puts everything in one place. Thanks for showing it today. Thanks, Phil. Thanks for the opportunity. And thanks for watching, everyone.